Therefore, you don't need to be afraid of it. Including your identity. Your identity is not real either. So the more your attention go goes towards that which does not change, that which is permanently here, is always still like this, uh, like that. Look at this, this. Look at the intensity, look at the connection of that moment that is here, but is absolutely still and silent, is not moving. Go to that place, connect to that part of yourself. Go back into your silence. Bring your attention towards the mountain inside you, the stillness. Become still. This is stillness, not moving, and real, and it's observing anything that's moving. The more you connect to that part, the more you begin to see the Maya. And the more the Maya begins to lose its grip. And the more you get established into the self, into the oneness, that you are already. And the mind starts to dissipate. And you spend more and more time being quiet. You recognize yourself more and more throughout the day that you're really at peace with yourself. It's very quiet. You're not ruled by the anxieties and the thoughts. And if something arises and comes out, you simply are aware of it. Okay, does anybody have any questions? You can either wave at me or write something in the chat box and I'll be happy to answer it. Hi, Anita. You have to unmute yourself, so I'm unmuting you, you have to... Oh, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Hi. Hi, good morning. Yes. Um, uh, what I, uh, I want to refer to what you told before. You told we don't have a free will and um, everything is done for us. That means God is taking the decisions, not we. And uh, he's looking after us. This was the topic from last time also. Um, what I like to know is uh, so many people die from hunger or from deep sicknesses, diseases. I don't know what. And uh, I have another special question, you know. Uh, we killed here uh, six million of Jewish people in Germany. Uh, right. did, did, who cared for the people who looked after these people you know i can't come along with this problem you know what i mean okay yeah great so so what is the main question uh yeah the last one what i uh, what i um okay yes right. i like to know this yeah right okay so if nobody's in control right so that means if there is no individual entity being, being around, so it's all God. So these six million people who died, 
and Holocaust, who were they? If it's only God, the six million who died were God, and the people who killed them were God too. So did anything happen? God manifested itself as these the Nazi agents, and God manifested itself as the six million Jews. So God as the Nazi agents, God as the Jews. So he, so God kills itself. So at the end, what happens? Nothing happens because nobody died. It was the same one pretending to be the aggressor. It was the same one who was being murdered. So the aggressor and the one who's getting the victim are both the same. They're both the same. There is no separation. Both of them, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> yes. What what is to... what is about this uh, misery happens to uh, to the people and to their children? Right. Right. So there was right. okay. So there was misery that happened, correct? And what is the opposite of the misery? Anita. Um, love. Or I don't know what's opposite of misery. It's joy, it's satisfaction, it's happiness, it's right, right? Mm -hmm. so, so let's say that somebody is murdering somebody, right? It's hypothetical, okay? Let's not get upset about it, all right? <clears throat> Are you with me? Yes, yes. Okay, so when someone's enjoying killing somebody, and they're getting joy out of it. So there is joy and there is misery. Yeah. So when the Nazis were burning the Jews, who was enjoying it? The Nazis were enjoying it, correct? Yeah. So there was God experiencing joy and then the ones who were burning, there was God experiencing misery. So God was experiencing both sides simultaneously being both sides. Experiencing, experiencing. God wants to experience. 